Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have a video and we're going to be talking about this crazy market that we have currently. Yes, boys, the market is just kind of plummeting at the moment, man. It's not doing too well um, generally, but I would say specifically this is with icons. Icons are dying today, man. It's crazy. It's so nuts. Um, I don't really know what's going on with icons, but they are being panic sold at an all-time high. It is crazy to see. We are seeing insane, insane price drops, uh, mainly via icons. And in terms of my transfer list, we just got a lazy on Van Dyke. I, I haven't been trading too much. I just bought a Chavi at 570 and sold at 617. And then I've been trading with out-of-pack golds and hyped up team of the week golds. So like Bruno's out of packs, uh, Sterling's out of packs. Sun is, I think, going to get hyped up for team of the week. So that's why I've been buying. I've been trading with a couple team of the weeks. And then you guys can see here, like, we made a really, really, really good buy on Eto, right? Really good buy. Like 2.2 is so low for this Samuel Eto. And when we take a look at it, it's like, you know, you get a 250K undercut. I got this on bid. It's not even a good deal. This guy is not selling in today's market. It's crazy to see. We have so much panic selling. And I think a lot of the selling, uh, and I'm going to literally have to take a loss on this, which is like crazy. I think a lot of the selling is really down to um, people thinking, and this one is not a good buy as well. So like not all the buys work out. I think it's really down to people thinking that we're getting icon swaps. That, that is what I'm thinking right now. It looks like at the moment, people think that we are going to be getting icon swaps, uh, and maybe a mid icon SBC. So it will be very interesting to see today on the market. Does the market rebound if we don't actually get those things? Now, I personally am not fully convinced. I think this is a huge price correction uh, that is happening. I think it's like totally warranted. But yeah, 89 points is our index right now, guys. 89.97. I mean, we have Paulo Nedved at 330K. It's like this guy last weekend was like 440K. I and mean, we're talking like these are like 30 to 40% price drops, guys, in three days. Um, and it's just, it's mental to see the amount of listings, the amount of people just chucking cards up on the market with huge undercuts. Um, you know, it's crazy to see. I think like my biggest example is not even just with, um, the icons. Like my biggest examples are like with Mbappe, man, look at this record record Mbappe. This guy was getting bought on rewards day at 3.3 million coins. And right now he's 2.5 flat. So, so people who bought that card on rewards day, um, are, are literally losing like 800, 900 K in four days. And in my opinion, this is what EA wants for the market. This is a this is EA's perfect idea of the market. If you want to buy a player, you're gonna lose coins on the player. Uh, and and generally, this is EA's idea of coin draining. Everybody right now is losing coins, so EA is happy. And that's that's not concerning, but that's realistic. I think that's what they're going for here, um, and I think that's what EA wants to do. Um, now, I mean, golds are somewhat stable. They are down a lot. And team of the group stages have been somewhat stable, but we've seen some crazy drop-offs. I mean, Rasher was 1-3 last night. Messi was 1-7-5, one, 1-8, one, he's 1-6-5. I mean, I think personally this will continue to go lower. Um, you know, they may have a couple like bounce backs here and there, but I think at, at this rate with this market, it probably will go lower. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Now, any other SPC that we get in terms of, you know, any kind of icon SPC repeatable or, or non-repeatable or any kind of like crazy pack SBC today. I mean, we're talking, we are in a very fragile market. If EA do anything more, and I think they know this, then we could be in some serious trouble um, in this market. I mean, we have the cheapest Rivaldo's not even selling, right? This guy was 690. He's 600 not selling now. I mean, he's going to get listed under 500, under 600 now. George Best was 1.4 this weekend, right? The guy doesn't even sell at 1.23 now. So look at the listings. I mean, that's what tells you everything, guys. If you go onto the market, I mean, there's 10 to 15 best at 1.2 flat. Um, that's that's the panic. That's that's what we're looking at. I mean, Zidane was 3.7 this weekend, and now he's heading towards 3 million flat. And I guess the one that I'm most interested in, the one that I'm looking at, like, wow, that is so low, is Pele. Pele is so low today, man. This Pele was 4 million coins, and right now you can't even sell him for 3.5. You can't. You cannot sell this guy for 3.5 mil. So, the drop-offs are crazy, and I would say if you're losing a little coins, then you're probably doing better than most of this market, guys, because the whole market today is losing a lot of coins, man. It's crazy to see, um, and and I think the selling results of this self-fulfilling prophecy where everybody's trying to get out uh, in front of each other, that's my thoughts. I think everybody on this game 
is trying to sell ahead of everybody else and it's just it's not working out everybody's undercutting each other obviously on on mondays we have very limited amounts of buyers um and i think that's what's going on currently i think that you know monday tuesday wednesday are the slower days of fifa and i think we had seen this though guys and this was a very realistic possibility uh last friday we saw this we were like wow the market is going down on a friday what is happening and i think sometimes when you see that sort of trend you're like wow th this could be a really bad market uh this week now this van bass and i sold at 3 30 this morning you know and these guys are moving up and down a lot i think i actually sold him a little cheap i think he went up to like 350 but this kenny dalglish was uh was not selling out like 108 when he was being listed this morning yeah i mean you guys could see he's 109 right now i mean these are crazy icon prices so I don't know how much longer this is going to last. I mean, the biggest thing to take away is that last year in uh, this month, there was a big correction on the market generally. Uh, the market had massive corrections with prices, but, you know, this is really low. Some of these prices are really, really low, guys. And I think if you're interested in an icon, hey, man, I, I wouldn't be against maybe picking one or two up, man. I mean, we're talking super low prices here. I mean, this Sadorf was just 115 an hour ago, man. I mean, he's still around that price one, too. But, I mean, this guy was 1-4 last week in league, so... I think it I think it depends on what you guys are looking at. I mean, I think at this point, if you haven't sold, there's not a point to sell. Uh, you know, we're at such a low point now that the, the loss that you would be taking is so massive that I just I just don't think it's worth it to sell, guys. I think it's like it's so low now that why at this point? Uh, you know, why at this point would you sell? I mean, we're talking such low prices, such such drastic drop-offs man if i'm being honest man just drastically dropping off on the market guys that in my eyes it's just not worth selling at this point if you haven't already man i mean i'm, I'm looking at a lot of these prices thinking it's crazy to it's crazy to want to panic sell i mean but this guy hernandez this mid card was 620 i mean he's now look and i think the thing that's most interesting is when we take a look at the market there's like 15 at the cheapest price and that's, for me, the most concerning one. When you see all these cards at the cheapest price, right? Like, so many at the lowest. That's always really concerning. I saw Garincha 92 today at 174. I mean, these price drop-offs are insane. 1722, not even selling, right? Not even selling. Um, crazy drops today, man. Crazy drops. And I can't say I'm surprised. I really can't say I'm surprised, man. It seems like people just want to sell this year, man. People just want to panic sell. People want to do this the whole thing. Um... I can't control that as much as I wish I really could, guys. I cannot control uh, people selling and not selling cards. But I think if we get no content today, there's a chance that we get a little rebound. I don't think the rebound will be super strong. I think people right now are super committed on selling their teams. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. Everybody on this game wants their coins and wants it now um, because these undercuts are drastic. And I'm so lucky I sold Maradona last night at 236 because he is 217 right now. And I would have lost 200,000 coins more. So thank God... I sold him last night because that would have not been worth it uh, to keep at all. There's no shot that would have been worth it. I want to take a look at 91 Lothar Mateus because this guy was 265 on Friday night and now he's 2.2. So if you wanted to play weekend league with Lothar Mateus, you would have lost 500 to 700K. Just think about that, man. Think about that for a second. Now we take a look at Meta Golds. Um, really, Mbappe is dropping a lot again. Uh, he's now 115. So he's dropping a ton because this guy was. We take a look over at his graph for this weekend. Uh, Mbappe this weekend was 1.2. And this was, I want to show you the graph on Saturday because he dropped a lot and then he rebounded back to 1 2. But now he's 1 1 5. And if we go back to the Footpin Popular page, Neymar is the most searched player and he's dropping a ton again, man. He was back to 815 last night and now he's 780. And it just looks like he's going to keep going down, man. That's, that's all I can see in the near future but i think something really good to trade with in this market is these out of pack golds uh these guys don't have supply at the moment and i think they can be really good to trade so i'm starting to watch these out of pack golds a little bit because i think there's some money in them but this messy is so low man my four mil messy guy is losing value by the day man oh my gosh what am i seeing my four mil messy is dropping in price a ridiculous amount he's now 960k and he's got multiple up at 970 brutal man what is this 950 950 on the market man crazy crazy prices that we have um currently but you know i i think it's going to be interesting to see what happens i'm praying for a rebound today i'm absolutely praying because i think we need it um but again i don't know where the rebound is going to come from because i just don't think people buy a lot of cards during the week i think i think especially like not only that i just think people are scared to buy in the week i think people just don't want to buy cards during the week i think that's just such a big thing on this game where people are just like 
Let me go do objectives. Let me just grind objectives. Let me just keep keep my stuff untradeable and let me chill out so I don't lose coins. So that's kind of, I feel like where the market is at. And that's the most concerning part um, about the market is that I just think people are so reluctant to be buying cards during the week that, you know, are we going to realistically see this crazy buyback happen? I, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Um, this Oscar is back down to 70K, isn't he? He is. I think mine is fresh. I'm going to toss him up at 75. Uh, the nice part about the record breakers, guys, if you want to play with a market crash team, is that the record breakers actually do. Uh, they quick sell for uh, 70K. So if you're looking for a team to play with in a market crash, I would actually really recommend the record breakers because um, they they quick sell. They quick sell, right? For like 70K. So really, you're only going to lose tax um, every single time. And then another thing we can take a look at, guys, um really quickly is the rise in the road to the finals and we have champions league this week and there's a lot of defining games for upgrades so a lot of people i think are not buying so many other cards because they're buying into all these kessie i sold at 245 he's 251 you know we've got some huge huge um price price rises here and this is due to people gambling man people want to get in on these cards this makes sense to me man these are huge price rises so good to see that at least one part of the one sector of the market is alive but that's my video for today guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys later Bye bye